All right, guys, so we are back at it here. Um, so on this assignment, I'm gonna try <laughs> to uh, hand draft this as well as show it on the camera. The tripod is right here in front of my face, so I apologize if it's coming in loud or uh, if it gets bumped. Uh, but you're gonna be doing these drawings, so you'll see in your packet, uh, drawings sheet 8-1 or packet 8-1, and then you'll see another one for packet 8-2. And this process is gonna be very similar uh, for each one of these that you're gonna be doing. So, in the last video I mentioned about putting in your title block and putting in uh, your uh, border. And so you have yours set up, or I assume that you'll have yours set up. Let me try to position that, there we go. All right, so this is laid out. Ideally, what you want to do here is you want to centrally place your three objects. So you're going to have three views. Uh, so we're going to look at that first one there. That first one, you're going to only draw the top, front, and right side view uh, of this three-dimensional or isometric shape. Uh, so it is basically uh, some sort of block with a wedge cut out. Uh, that's what your drawing would have. And so if you look at it here, this is the top view. That would be like looking at your drawing from the top down or the part from your top down. This one here is the right side view. It would be as though you're looking at the part from the right side. And then this one here, notice it says complete the view. So it does not give you what that view should look like, uh, but it shows it here shaded in. And so it'll be a box with a wedge cut out. And that's what your front view is going to look like. Okay, so what we're gonna do then if you were to look at this block as a three-dimensional block, uh, you're gonna show the front view, the top view, and then the right side view. So in this video, we're gonna lay out how this actually gets laid out on the pencil and paper. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is draw in your border and your title block, like I said a moment ago. Uh, as far as these shapes go, I'm gonna kinda of give you some, uh, some guides here, hopefully to help you out. Um, so, Ideally, you'll want each of your three views centrally located on your paper. It's important to keep your views in alignment. So where the front view is going to go, the top view is going to go directly above it. And I'll show you why here in a minute. Same thing for your front and your right side view. So if your front view is right here, your right side view would be in direct alignment with it. So the first thing you're going to want to do here is start laying this out with construction lines. Now, if you were to look at the overall layout of your actual blocks... So in other words, the actual block sizes. So I scratch this down real quickly. If this was my front view with that wedge shape there, uh, if this was my top view with the line there, if this was my right side view with that short line right there, what you're gonna see is the overall size of this front view is gonna be five inches wide. We know that here. Let me fold this up so I don't hit this on the stand. So we know here that the block is five inches wide. So five inches crossways. We know that for the top view, for oh, sorry, uh, the height of the front view, the height is two and a half. So if we were to look at this sheet here, here's two and a half. So that's how tall it is this way. Sorry, probably should not erase or uh, should not mark that up since uh, we're just simply laying out what the views are going to look like. So I know that that box overall is going to be five by two and a half. I know the same for the right side view, that the top, how high this is, is two and a half. How wide it is, it says, uh, is one and a half. So that's the, how deep that part is. A note to keep in mind, the width this way is gonna be the same as if I were to come up and come over. So that width right there on the top view is the same as the right side view. So if that was one and a half here, I would come up and over this width right here would be one and a half inches. Okay, so for my top view, it would be one and a half deep and it would still be five long. For my uh, right side view, it would be two and a half high, which my two and a half is the same for my front view as my right side view, and it would be one and a half deep. Okay, now I threw on this paper here just a, a quick little heads up there. You probably want to have around two inches, somewhere inch and a half to two inches between your front view and your right side view. You probably want to have about an inch between your front view and your top view. And you're going to be using that for dimensions later on. 
But for this one here, you're just going to come barely above your title block, uh, no more than a half an inch, and you're going to draw a light line. Okay, these are called construction lines, and we're going to use these to start laying out. Now, I don't know if you can see that line, it's very faint right there, but that allows me to be able to uh, get a general idea of the bottom of my front view and a bottom of my right side view. So now I'm gonna simply start marking these up. So what I'm gonna do here on the far left side is I'm gonna come in somewhere about 5 eighths of an inch. Uh, half an inch, 5 eighths of an inch would be fine. Probably even go up to 3 quarters of an inch. And from that mark, now I'm gonna measure over five. So I'm gonna come over five inches here, make a mark. I'm gonna come over, let's say two inches. Once again, you got a little wiggle room there. if you. Uh, if it feels too tight and you want to go inch and a half, that's fine. But I'm going to make a mark, and I'm going to come over the how deep that part is, which is an inch and a half, so one and a half, and I'm going to make a mark. Okay, so now these two are going to be for my right side view. These two dart dots are going to uh, be the uh, edges of my front view. So I can go ahead and, while I have the ruler down here, I can go ahead and connect these lines hoping that it looks okay on camera there. So this is now, these two lines that I made, this dark lines here and here, are now the bottom of my front view and the bottom of my right side view. And so I'm gonna simply start doing that going up. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna measure up. The part is two and a half tall. So I'm gonna make a mark here and the part is two and a half tall. By the way, it's important to make sure you know how to read your ruler uh, because if you don't, you're going to mess this completely up, okay? So there's a ton of YouTube videos out there, a ton of material out there. You're welcome to email me uh, and ask me questions as well, and I'm more than happy to try to help you with that. But there's a ton of material out there. If you are uncomfortable with reading a ruler, uh, make sure you look that up. These are in sixteenths of an inch, and so for a one inch, that means there's 16 of these little tick marks. If you count eight out of 16, that would be a half an inch. Four out of 16 would be a quarter inch. Two out of 16 would be an eighth inch. And you should know how to reduce fractions by now. Eight sixteenths, for example, would reduce down to one half of an inch. Sorry, right there would be the half an inch. All right, so I drew the top one. And now I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna make sure that my lines are parallel to my sides the sides of my uh, paper. And so I'm gonna simply just play and connect the dots here, draw the line up like that. You could also measure over, so from the edge of the border or even the edge of the page, if that dot was at exactly, let's say, um, 5 eighths of an inch from the border, I could measure over 5 eighths of an inch and make a dot. Okay, that's another way that you can get these lines perfectly parallel. But you're gonna simply walk through this process and you're gonna measure these up. So Right here, sorry, let me try to put this in and not hit the uh, stand here. So if this line was, let's say, a little over three quarters in, I could come up here and I could measure that same amount and I could draw my line parallel here. Okay, and once again, you could measure it. If that was an inch and a half, you could come up here and you could measure over an inch and a half and complete your box like this. So the top line here, like so. And then the this last little bit for the right side view, notice here, right there, I could come up. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna finish out this and I'll be right back. Okay, so we finished out the right side view. By the way, we're gonna be doing the same thing from the, uh, so just like we drew over this line straight across to get the same height here, and we're gonna get the same height for our front view, we can also do that for our top view. So I'm gonna simply come up here, and once again, on any of these lines that are construction lines, you wanna just lightly draw the line, and you can always go back later in, and you can draw them much heavier. Uh, so I'm gonna start in on my top view here, I'm going to get these two sides in. Okay, so we got these dots in now. What I did was I drew from the, the side 
of this front view here. I just simply drew that line straight up because these are in alignment. And so that gets me the side of the top view. Same on this side. I, when it, since I, this is five inches over and I have this mark made here, I just drew that simply up like that. Um, and so then what I did was I left myself about an inch gap between the top of the front view and then the bottom of the top view. And I made myself a mark about an inch up. And so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back and I'm going to connect those dots with a nice thick line that I can see much easier. Okay, and I'm going to do the same with the other way. By the way, if you want to speed this up, you are welcome uh, in the uh, settings. You're welcome to speed that up a little bit more quickly in order to uh, speed it, well, make it faster. I realize part of this is just me drawing lines here. All right, so uh, we now have the outside perimeter of our top view here. I'm waiting on drawing this front view. I can, you can obviously measure over and up and then just connect the lines. I'm gonna show you something else on how to find those here in just a minute. Um, and I'm gonna do that by using my top view and my front view. So in the right, or sorry, I'm gonna use the top view and the right side view. So we've already found this line here in the right side view. I'm gonna come over an inch and draw this line in now. All right, so I measured over an inch and drew that. Now what I'm gonna do is I wanna project this line down. So um, this line right here, I should have drawn in just a little bit darker. There we go. So this, this guideline right here, if you can see on the screen, um, so this represents the side and the top of my front view. What I wanna do is I wanna simply bring my ruler over and I'm gonna draw this line down and actually just simply identifying where it crosses that top line there. I'm gonna do the same thing for me, my right side view. Uh, where this line is, I'm gonna simply mark that point right there. And this point from here to here are now going to represent uh, that, that slope. That's what those edges um, are for. So I'm gonna simply just play connect the dots, connecting one dot to the other. Put that in a little heavy. I'm gonna come back in and darken in my couple of lines that were just simply construction lines that were not that dark. You wanna make sure that these come out nice and crisp if you can. I realize that especially, um, for those of you who've never done this before, it will be a little bit different. I've not done this in probably 25 years. Um, this was how they used to do it back in the day. We generally use computers today, uh, but with all of the software glitches that we've had uh, with um, um, AutoCAD platform on Chromebooks, that has caused a problem. So um, now the lat so notice there that this this edge right here represents where it was flat. Okay, so it represents where it's flat and then where that plane breaks. Okay, so that's what this line right here represents. So that actually, that's why we can draw that down from one view, uh, from the top view to the front view, because that point right there is representing that break in plane. Same thing for our right side view. Our right side view is this slope face here, if you can see that slope face, versus this flat nose right here, and where that corner is, okay, it's represented by a line here, but we can draw that straight over and find that corner point. So it's just simply playing connect the dots. Last thing you would do on this drawing would be you'd go back and you would erase up all of your construction lines. Whatever lines are not meant to be in there, you can erase those out. And you would just simply clean that up, okay? So that is the game plan here uh, to get your three views. The last thing you would have to do is the dimensions, which we'll talk about in the next video.